all I can tell you, if you ever get a chance to get Mocha Wood by Fragrance World, get it. It is so good. It is so delicious. It has a coffee note. I can't wait to talk about it with you. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nairi and I am excited that you stopped by. If this is your first time ever coming across one of my videos, if you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? Join the community. It is worth it. Make sure you hit the notifications so you never miss a video that I post. Uh, on here, we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. We talk about any recommendations you have. We are coming up on fall and I am excited to talk about my fall fragrances. Again, you can follow me on all my social medias. I initially started off on Instagram. I would tell you to go there first because there is close to 600 videos there. I do lives and I just, um, I'm on there more regularly than I am here on YouTube. I just migrated myself over to YouTube and I'm also on TikTok. But today, let's dive into fall. I cannot wait. Fall is right around the corner and I have a ton of fragrances that I can't wait to wear. But if you saw the thumbnail, then you know today's topic is about mocha wood. Have you heard about it? If you haven't, then stay tuned. All right, so let's dive into it. Mocha wood is actually marketed towards men. Uh, I'm not sure why. It's, to me, it's a totally unisex fragrance. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is beautiful. The bottle looks like this. And just the sight of the bottle. I love the, the it's almost like a bread basket type out um, outside of it. It's actually gorgeous. It has that metal plate. This fragrance uh, is like a standalone in my collection. Every time it gets cool, when it's just slightly cool outside, this is the first one that I run to go get because I love this fragrance. I found it on Oud Store, which I have in the description. I always have where you can locate these fragrances at in the description. So please always remember to go there to look for it. Um, I even tell you where you can get it at the cheapest that I can possibly find it. But let's get into the notes. The notes of mocha wood is coffee, hazelnut, saffron, ylang ylang, and rhubarb. That's the opening. And to me, you get a nutty coffee, almost like a caramel macchiato. That's the opening, right? With a tad bit of spiciness, tad, a tad bit of spiciness. But then as it settles on your skin, it moves into rose, tobacco, tonka bean, patchouli, and sandalwood. All of those are amazing notes and they combine great together. The tobacco is not like a cigarette type tobacco or a dirty tobacco. It's almost like a creamy, sweet tobacco. I'm a person, if you're anything like me, in tobacco, that whole smoky tobacco-ness is not one of my favorites, but a nice creamy cigar, maple cigar tobacco is right up my alley. And then as it settles on your skin, I will say that this particular fragrance has moderate longevity. Uh, when I spray it on, it really depends on the weather. If it's uh, rather chilly outside, I can get six hours. If it's cold and I'm wrapped up in like a sweater and a cover up and everything, it projects gorgeously and it lasts even longer. So the base of it is what makes it do that. It has that benzoin. It has uh, resin. It has Indian oud and Gayak oud. So you have two different types of oud or wood notes in it. And that's what gives it that wonderful base, like that good, good base, right? Again, as I said, that this is marketed to men. So if you, I don't follow the marketing. If it smells good, I'm gonna wear it. It has a gorgeous top. I want you to see the top of it. And again, as I talked about that bread basket type uh, bottle, it's, it's gorgeous. And I got this, I wanna tell you for like, $35. 
This one here gives a lot of my niche fragrances a run for their money. It's, I love Middle Eastern fragrances, and this is one of the reasons why. Coffee, hazelnut, tobacco, guyac wood, and benzoin. It gets no better than that. Okay, so we talked about mocha wood and how super excited I am to get to this fragrance. If you have mocha wood in your collection, tell us about it. Put it in the comments. Tell us about it. Tell more people of it. Do you find that you wear this when it's cool like I do? Or do you love mocha wood so much that you even wear it when you wear your Gourmand Sweetie fragrances? Because I think that, I think it will work with sweet fragrances when you're wearing those. And it also will work when it's cold outside. I love it either way. And I would love to hear your opinion, your thoughts. And are you into Middle Eastern fragrances like I am? Because I love Middle Eastern fragrances. They are so strong. They are so good. I love them. I absolutely love them. And they're affordable. I think you can get a Middle Eastern fragrance, a good solid one, under $50. And it'll last in your collection for a long time. But again, that's my opinion. I want to hear yours. What are your opinions? Tell us about it in the comments. I absolutely love doing this with you. This is fun to me. I get an opportunity to talk about fragrances and to talk with other people who love fragrances too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? Come on, subscribe, join the family, share the video, do everything that I would do for you. So on that note, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and an absolute blessed and beautiful morning. Whenever it is that you got to watch this video, my only request is that you share it. Share it so more people can come to the community. And on that note, I'm going to bid you a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video.